Ah, yes. The green Siamese three-tailed bat cat. How could I possibly forget the amazing creations currently here in our random pets laboratory? Here in The Sims 4, cats and dogs with lots and lots of custom content mixed into our animal genetics. But hello everyone and welcome back. So we are back in the laboratory, getting ready to carry on with our cats because they have delivered something amazing amazing last time. From our wonderful moon, our three-tailed, curved-eared, smushed-face white cat, who was the 79th member of the family tree, the feline family tree, there we go, we had Monster Girl 13 come and join the lab, and she has used her culinary chef self-assured uh, creative genius powers to add who knows what into our food because last time my friends we had emily our very first ever bad cat and emily and moon's genes went on to have edward uh who is absolutely amazing three-tailed bat cat with you know white blind eyes and Ella, who is our one-tailed, like, floofy-tailed bat cat, green Siamese coloring with purple eyes. This, this is the essence of what the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge is for. This is making history. So I am so excited that Ella has come to join us. But all right, guys. So we're gonna carry on just like we always do. Let me make sure I have all of my random numbers lined up just right. And we are going to see what new kittens Ella is going to add into the family tree to carry on this amazing legacy. I have very high hopes. Monster Girl has thus far proven herself a fantastic lab assistant. And as always, my friends, if you would like to come and join us as one of my lab assistants or one of the animals, all you need to do is just leave a comment down below so that you feel comfortable becoming a three-tailed bat cat Siamese cross. <laughs> But alright, so Monster Girl, thank you so much for working for us. You have now aged slightly as time has gone on. As an adult, you have at least one more experiment with us before you reach elderhood, and you will retire with all sorts of wealth and prestige to be replaced by one of you guys who will become our new lab assistant and bring your own special twist. Uh, maybe like you know what? She is kind of wearing condiments, and now that makes me think about the Nishling challenge where we had mustard and ketchup and barbecue and garlic and all of those other condiments. That was so funny. Oh, okay, but stay focused. All right, guys. Time to say goodbye to Moon as she goes off to frolic in the cat area. So she's off to play. Tristan, our 100th puppers, is still being a very, very good girl, waiting for us to prepare for the new phase of the... Uh, it's going to be genetics evolved, basically. We're going to do even more complicated genetics for the dogs coming up. But for now, it's all about cats. So Emily, we're going to have you with your beautiful green whiskers green fur and bat tail head off to the kitty play yard as well so off she goes and then you know i kind of want to i kind of want to keep edward so bad but i do have him saved in the gallery so we're going to go ahead and let edward head out as well and we are going to create a brand new cat for ella to have as a mate so let's go ahead and add in a new feline Oh, he's so cute, a little tuxedo. Oh, one of my good friends has a weakness for tuxedos, so I will have to wave this guy around in her face and be like, look at how cute he is. But we're going to mix up the breed first thing to see what the base cat shall be. All right, so breed mixer, and we're going to randomize nine times to pick the base breed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine. Ooh, oh wow an american long hair look at those eyes wow that's beautiful holy cats this is gonna be really exciting so now that we have the base breed we are actually going to get a cross breed one cross breed so we have the american long hair and 
Okay, you're really pretty. And you don't even have a tail! Oh my gosh! Alright guys, I would like to welcome into the feline family tree little Z-Bug, named after Bug Frank, one of you guys who left a lovely comment last time. Oh, and we have quite a few names for the kittens coming up in just a second here too. But this is little Z-Bug and we are going to be chasing every- you're changing everything about this little buggy boo. Uh, which is quite a pity because isn't this such a beautifully cute cat like I'm kind of tempted Z-Bug you know what let's go ahead and get your jeans we'll go ahead and leave the aloof because why not and then one two well one two three four five six seven so aloof glutton and mischievous oh my goodness <laughs> my least favorite of the traits because I just like freak out I'm like no don't don't leave a little pile of poo in the middle of the create a sim that's ugh, ugh. But all right, so Z-Bug, oh, I need to give you your title. We have to make sure to properly label our experiments after all. C-082, wonderful. We are going to change everything about you and see what your kittens look like, but I'm sort of curious. We're gonna just sneak in one mix with them as they are. <gasps> okay. I'm kind of cheating a little bit, but we're just gonna keep this daughter. We're gonna keep her as a little baby. She's amazing. I just wanna see, we're gonna compare. I've actually never really done this before where we compare like before and after to see what the kits would look like. This may be a really good idea to keep up with the future. Uh, and let's go ahead and name this little one is actually gonna be Celeste. So she is one of our extra kittens. Thank you so much to those of you who suggested Celeste. This is Elki who suggested it. And I'm gonna make her a little aloof, but very friendly in her own way. Kind of, she's either really, really friendly with you or really aloof. And I'm gonna make her a bit of a free spirit. She likes to do her own thing. But we're gonna take her as a kit like this, and we're going to get her sibling after we change everything about Z-Bug properly, and then we'll compare the final experiment, the next true cat in our feline family tree, against what it would have been like if Z-Bug had just been completely left alone. This is gonna be really cool. But all right, time to change everything about Z-Bug's genetics, beginning with the face. All right, those ears, twice on the ears. One, two, oh, what cute little ears! Once on the nose, nine times on the whiskers one two three four five six seven eight nine blue okay that might indicate we're about to get some wonky stuff going on here 12 times on the eyes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve <gasps> oh i miss those big beautiful green eyes but these are kind of cool eyes too all right then we're going to change the body six times one two three four five six the tail three times one two three. Oh, it's a cute little bobby tail that's adorable it's like a little rabbit tail we're gonna change the fur pattern seven times one two three four five six seven oh <gasps> look at all the colors we have to work with this is gonna be so cool okay so we're actually doing it once twice three five and eight so one one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> Be still my heart. We have a little patchwork cat. Like I know there's an actual patchwork skin, but doesn't this actually look like a little cat knitted together with love by, by like a grandma or maybe a great aunt who has like 20 cats and no kids. That's probably gonna be me. All right, let's see. And then we're gonna change the fur type once. Okay, same fur. We're doing good. And we are diving in. And it is now time for Monster Girl to give our cat the very special genes and the special food that she has been brewing up in the kitchen. We are going to be randomizing eight times and seeing if one of those special genes sticks. And this can include everything from bird beaks to fangs to big ears to fingers. There's a lot of very, very special genes that might be permanently assigned to this cat. One, two three four five six seven eight oh we lost a foot 
<laughs> oh no! Okay, let's go ahead through slowly and remove all of the clothes. Okay, we take that one off. We'll take this one off. And we lost the right foot! Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Z-Bug. Something went really wrong when we were in the middle of all of our genetic experiments. <laughs> Thankfully, that can't be inherited though, so we're going to be all right there. But this is gonna be really cool because I've never taken a kitten who was born before the changes, and now we are going to have four kittens born between Ella and Z-Bug to make our next little one. There we go. All right, here we are. So four kittens, are you guys ready? One, and, oh, should I, do I have enough room? One, two, three, four, five. I can keep three of them. So, ooh, this one's really cute. Okay, not the one that we get to keep forever, but let's go ahead, one kitten. And then two, I think I'll go ahead and randomize this one again. Two, oh, so cute, oh my gosh. And then three, and then this will be the final one, the one to inherit the title of the next cat in our experiments. Four, oh my gosh. We ended up with such a normal looking baby. The heckadoodle. All right, guys, I would like to introduce you to Zorax. So welcome, little Zorax. You are now the 83rd cat in the feline family tree. I'm sort of curious to see if you are going to end up having a bat wing or not, since that is the only special thing that has been granted thus far. Let's see what the personality, the personality, you could say, is going to be. So five, that's fluffy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Territorial. Oh my. And then one, two, three. So fluffy, territorial, and clever marks the traits of our 83rd kit here in the feline family tree. So Monster Girl, I wonder if you gave little Zorax something more in tune with like uh, personality, uh, personality even. But now we have Celeste. Oh, and I didn't name this little one. Let me get another name. Celeste and Tay Tay. There we go. All right, so let's try this out. Celeste and Tay Tay are going to be, uh, I think that Tay Tay is gonna be frisky and playful and friendly. There we go. But these two, who are the ones who inherited the greenery, are not actually the heirs to the challenge. However, let's see what they look like. Celeste, you beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, green upon green cat of my heart. Oh, you're beautiful, Celeste. You are so beautiful. And you did not inherit the, um, Celeste did not actually end up inheriting the, the wings. Which tail did she inherit? And she ended up inheriting the little bob tail. So we're actually going to come and change her tail to this little tail right here. So she is so beautiful. I am really, really in love with those eyes. The green eyes on green fur, absolutely stunning. And this is then the cat that we would have had if we had changed nothing. Now let's compare to Tay Tay. So Tay Tay, what are you gonna grow up to look like? <laughs> Very much the same, oh my gosh. And Tay Tay actually did inherit, oh, look at those blue whiskers. Those are the blue whiskers. Yep, Tay Tay inherited the blue whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> that had changed uh, and Tay Tay actually inherited the white bat wings. Oh I'm so nervous now. What if we don't get the white bat wings on our new kitten? Come on Zorax Think about things of flight. Think about eating bugs or fruit like bats do. Come on. You can do it little buddy Here we go. He has grown up into a beautiful cat and yeah! <laughs> He inherited the bat wings! The bat wings continue! Oh, that makes me so relieved. He did not inherit the, um, the little up tail, even though he has it on. He actually inherited from the two tails, the fluffy tail. There we go! There you are, buddy! 
Wow, you really can hardly tell that you are still bewinged, but that is so cute. So there we go, guys, our 83rd cat here in the family tree. We do now have special tails, like an aquatic tail. We have got quite a few new jeans that have been added in. There are so many different colors that could be done. And I think you guys are going to be very interested in seeing where these experiments will take us once we start reaching the 100th plus of the different animals. Because after that point, we will be able to pick which air we want and breed specifically the most dramatic of the genes. So I'm very excited about that for sure. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to toss a treat to Zorax, who dreamed of wings and came through, even though I don't think those wings are going to support such a fluffy cat no matter what, no matter what he wants. And next time, we will hopefully be able to carry on with even more wonderful experiments. So I hope you guys are looking forward to joining me. Be sure to subscribe if you would like to see this and literally thousands more adventures. And most importantly, guys, stay curious. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.